Your boy Omega Red is super hot right now and I figured it was just about time to break this bad motherfucker out the box. Let's go. Today we're gonna crack open this vintage Omega Red Toy Biz 10 inch figure. Before we get into the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Now let's hop right into this unboxing and check out this psychopath serial killer himself from Russia. Let's go! All right, here we go. We got that Omega Red Deluxe Edition 10 inch figure from Toy Biz, man. A classic throwback figure. One of the greatest villains of all time. Absolutely love this box. They always used to have the greatest packaging for figures back in the day in the 90s. Got that X-Men logo. The green and blue on the side, Omega Red. Basically the same thing on the top and on the other side. And then you flip it over to the back, man. You got a little preview of some figures they had. They got the mags. They got that Spy Wolverine. Omega Red, of course. Just like they always used to do with all figures back in the day. They got that little cutout card bio of Omega Red. Just an awesome box. I kept it in the box for a long time. I actually found this thing at this strange little Mexican dollar store like five years back for five bucks and just kept it hidden away for a while taking your boy omega red out the box you got him in this little insert here that he's connected to a little bit of uh comic panels here classic stuff with omega red in the box just love the vibrant colors they did it up hardcore back in the 90s and of course man i stumbled upon this awesome little pamphlet just a bunch of old classic X-Men figures and toys from back in the day. You got these little pocket comics. I don't think I had any of them when I was a kid. And then you fold it out, showing a little bit more of the action figures. Wasn't a fan of the smaller ones. I had a bunch of the big ones, though. I definitely had the Bishop. I had the Gambit. Um... I think I had the Weapon X, I don't remember. Cable, I'm pretty sure I had. Just great stuff. And then of course up here you got the mags and Spy Wolverine and Omega Red. Flipping it over, man. You got these Steel Mutants, the little uh, dollar store I was talking about before that I found this that actually had a bunch of these. I picked up some, but I don't know where they're at now. The projectors, man, I had Sabretooth and Wolverine. And look at this fucking X-Men dress-up set. That Cyclops helmet is ridiculous, <laughs> yeah. Blackbird jet set. The Sentinel play set. Man, just great stuff. Look at that damn kid, man. That is just horrendous. All right, taking your boy Omega Red out that little insert that was in there, man. It's a, it's a great little figure. The paint job isn't too great, as you can see. There's a little red spot up on his uh, hair there. But the hair does move. His head moves. There's, It's not like it is today where there's like 14 points of articulation on a figure, man. This thing is basic as hell. The paint job is not great, but I mean, Omega Red is basically the red and the white and the, the chrome coloring. So they did a good job. This is probably one of my favorite ones out of all of them, just because he doesn't really need a whole lot of detail. He's got the little Omega sign on his hand there. Some bad paint around the uh, little gloves he's got on. Same with the other side as well, and the belt. But I mean, all figures look like this back in the day. They were all not great paint jobs. Some talk about the articulation. You got the knee bends. The legs move and the arms move. That's that's all you got on this. But you also um, right here have his little tentacle. This thing is a little uh, action motion that pops out. Thing little slides out. It's kind of a pain in the ass to get back in. I'm sure these things broke off immediately back in the day when kids had 
had them playing with him. But it's a cool little addition to the figure. Definitely real basic, but I mean, he looks awesome. It's a great, great figure. Definitely brings back some of that 90s nostalgia of all the toys that I owned as a kid. I was very glad to find this in this little weird Mexican dollar store and pick it up for like five bucks. They had a bunch of stuff too. They got some Spawn stuff, a whole bunch of uh, just old school figures. I don't know how they have them all brand new in the boxes, but they do. So he's got this little tentacle here too that uh, also goes in his hand. Pop that right in there. It's a little weird looking. It's kind of awkward to have him posed with that in his hand. I probably wouldn't have it in there, but you know, it's a he's got to have the tentacles. So of course, your boy Omega Red is super hot right now. His first appearance was back in 1992 in issue four of X Men. That Jim Lee goodness. There's a ton of speculation that he is going to be entering into the MCU at some point soon. Hopefully he does because he is one of definitely my favorite characters of all time. Just the serial killer, super soldier, Captain America style. Just member of the KGB, just straight up murdering bastard. He's just a, such an evil, awesome villain and... I really hope he comes to the MCU. We are on that Fury Road to 100 subscribers and it is glorious. We're giving away that X-Men number one CGC 9.8 along with two Funko Pops. To be entered in the giveaway, all you gotta be is subscribe to the channel, like the video, and drop a comment on any video I show that mentions this giveaway. Alrighty all you savages, thanks for watching this Omega Red unboxing. Drop a comment, let me know what you think about this video. Do you think Omega Red is going to show up in the MCU or is it all just hype? I think he's coming. He should come. I mean, goddamn, he's such a badass character. I hope he comes. Before we go, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Drop a comment, get yourself entered in that giveaway. Now, I'm out of here. Peace!